What's up guys, Alex here with a new video and this video is going to be the start of a new series uh, where I basically teach you guys some of the photo editing elements of Sony Vegas so you can edit your professional photos. So today's video is going to be about black and white photos and a lot of times when I see people take uh, professional photos they usually just slap a black and white filter over it and the reason I hate this is because um, some black and white photos are just basically you know making it black and white uh, but there's no kind of depth within them so it looks really basic when you really take all the color out of the photos and basically I'm just going to teach you guys how you can um, some of the plugins you can use to make your photos look more vibrant uh, when it's in black and white so here's a few example of urban photography and as you can see it's all black and white and the great thing I like about black and white photos used in professional photography is that um, instead of just you know having black and uh, white tones in the photo there's a lot more color ranges um, used in them so as you can see in this little photo here uh, there's a lot different black shades within the walls of this photo and also the whites aren't you know they're not too bright but then they're not too uh, low either so as you can see there's different shades on the wall over here and then especially the lights it has a really nice glow to it which really adds to the photo so I'm gonna go ahead and go into Sony Vegas and here's two images that I took by myself uh, one's here of a cathedral I think and one's of a FedEx bus so as you can see in the video FX tab you know some people just use black and white plugin and they just slap it on there and here's what I'm talking about um, as you can see it turns black and white takes out all the colors but there's no depth within this photo uh, as you can see there's only like a white range and then there's only like a, like a little gray um, almost dark kind of white range on the actual building itself so what you can do to kind of make the uh, photo more vibrant in a black and white filter is to use the gradient map and the great thing about the gradient map is that you can actually use and control some of the different uh, color ranges of the photo so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the default plugin and apply it to the photo and as you can see, you have three different knobs here. You have one, two, and three. And basically, just to you know, even it, or not even it out, but to simplify it for you guys, uh, number three is the low range, number one is the mid range, and number two is the high range of the photo. So to make the black and white photo, all you need to do is apply a black uh, base to the low range. So click on three and select the luminance and make sure it's black. And as you can see, it sets a really dark tone on the picture. It doesn't completely take out the color, except um, it, it basically darkens all the low ranges of the photo. Now for the number two, which is the high range, you want to make sure that it, um, it's all the way up on the luminance. So 100% luminance, and it's set to white. Uh, you can edit this later, but I'm just going to show you guys um, the option that kind of really alters your photo and gives it a vibrance so select number one and here you're gonna use this number one option to mediate the different colors from black to white so set it to the middle and as you can see it's obviously gonna even out the black and white ranges of the photo so if you set the luminance down darker to the bottom obviously it's gonna to get toned down more and if you set it up more it's going to wash out some of the black uh, foundations of the photo. So you kind of want to play around with the settings. Make sure that it's set to right where you want. I'm just going to put it around, let's see, put it around here a little bit. And also what you can do to mediate the colors is to move around the knobs. So if you want it to be more, you know, black you can move the one upward so that there's more color ranges for black on the gradient map or you can move it down to make sure that there's more white I'm just gonna move it a little bit to the right so that I get a little bit more darker tones in the photo also the second step is to use a glow plugin now as you saw in the photo there are some of the lights in the photo right here are kind of you know, a little bit milky and they have a little glow aspect to it uh, to achieve that we're gonna use a glow plugin And we're going to apply the default plugin to the photo. And since there's only black and white, and we want to make only the white uh, color ranges of the photo 
more vibrant. We're going to set the color to white. And the first thing you want to do is increase the intensity. Now the intensity is really uh, sensitive to the uh, values that you put in it. So if you put it all the way to halfway, it's really going to kind of wash out the picture. So you want to make sure that typically in your photos, you don't want it to go above uh, 1.0. So I'm going to set it to 0 0.8. Set the glow percent to about 0 0.2027. And then I'm going to use the suppression to kind of tone down the glowness and so we don't lose some of that sharpness in the photo. There you go. And that's basically how you can make a black and white photo more vibrant using these two plugins. So um, I hope you guys like this tutorial and I hope there's a lot of things you can learn from this tutorial. Again, if you have any questions, just post them down in the comments down below and I will see you guys next time.